Hey guys, what's up? John Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com, and we're going to talk about a very debated subject today, and it's swing plane. Uh, what kind of plane you're swinging on when you're trying to make contact, and I have my very specific opinions on this matter, uh, contrary to some other coaches. Uh, basically, what we've been taught, at least I've been taught my whole life, is that you want to take this back and go straight down to the ball. Okay? Uh, also, I'm going to real quick ask my video editor, Big Nate, what's up, Big Nate? <laughs> if you could please draw a line from the top of my bat down to this ball and my follow through to see where the bat path plane or bat path is to the ball. So a lot of coaches, at least for me when I was growing up, say swing straight down, straight to the ball. So like this. Boom, okay? and you're trying to get down to that ball and create backspin. Now, I understand the philosophy and where you're coming from, but what we didn't have back then was slow motion video. Now we got YouTube and we got thousands of the best hitters in the world on slow mo video, right at your fingertips on YouTube. And what you can see from those guys is that that's not what they do, okay? What they're doing is wherever they start from, okay? Nate, go ahead and draw another line on my plane, on my back path here. Wherever their elbow starts, either high or down, whatever it is, once they get into that, that back elbow gets into the side. Hey, I uh, just want to point out something real quick, because um, I know this before we get into the swing plane of a good swing. Uh, I know this position right here looks crazy. The first time I saw it and was really studying swing, the swing in slow motion, I said, there's no way that all these guys get to this spot, uh, but they do. So I looked at a couple of hitters, and as you can see here, uh, I got Barry Bonds, and he gets into this position here with his back elbow in. The bat is completely flat. Uh, I've also got Pujols, which is even a little bit deeper uh, with his bat, back elbow in, and he's got more of an upward swing. This was a home run derby swing, so um, that makes a little bit more sense. But all the other guys are game uh, swings, and you can see... Uh, you know, I didn't want to just look at home run hitting guys, you know, power guys. I want to look at some guys that hit for average as well. So you can see here I got Miggy, uh, and he's he's even a little bit deeper, more like Pujols was. But this is a game swing uh, with his bat in the back. Uh, and then you've got uh, Mike Trout, um, who is perfectly flat in the back with that back elbow in, kind of almost where I am in, in the video here. Uh, his hands are a little bit more in front. Um, so those are some guys that, that uh, aren't really power hitters, aren't really non-power hitters or slap hitters or anything. Uh, they're, they're guys that hit well, um, but they're not, they're not trying to you know, swing up on the ball. Um, but they're still getting to this position. So then I, then I thought, let me look at some guys who are not necessarily known for uh, you know, hitting bombs, massive bombs or anything like that. So you can see here... Um, uh, a couple players who have great swings. Uh, D. Gordon, he is perfectly flat back in the back. Um, and now D can, D can hit him over, no doubt about it. But he's not your typical power hitter. Uh, but you can see here, he still gets into the same spot. Okay, so he's still getting a good swing plane. And then I've got also uh, Ichiro, who is also back elbow in. And the bat is pretty flat right there. So as you can see, all different types of hitters, all the best hitters in the game, let that bat get down and into the zone early as possible so they can stay in the zone for a long time and get through that ball out in front. So let's watch the rest of this video here and see how the swing plane really works on a good swing. That bat is getting back here, okay? Into a, it, it, it actually goes straight back like this, okay? And then what they're gonna do is come through that ball on the same plane that it's coming in, or that's what they're gonna try to do. So basically that back elbow gets down and in, and then they're gonna be here as they're coming through that zone, okay? So now, as you can see there, that was a slightly uppercut swing, okay? It's actually a level, to be honest with you, it's a level swing, but because of my chest angle, which we're gonna talk about in another video, it gives me that slight uppercut swing, okay? So. The reason why I don't like swinging down trying to create backspin, there's a couple reasons, but the main one is that if you're swinging down, you've got to be perfect with your timing. Think about it. 
I'm going down. I'm out of the zone. 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 In the zone. Out of the zone. Out of the zone. Out of the zone. So there's only a split second where you have to be perfect with that timing to hit the ball. If you get that back up win and get into that good spot, now not too deep. I don't want guys getting too deep because that's when you start popping it up or swinging through. It's the opposite. You know, if you're here and this pitch is coming here, it's the opposite. You're out of the zone too long. But a good plane will be on the same plane that that pitch is coming in on if it's coming in on slightly downward plane, because that's usually what happens when guys pitch off a baseball mound. You want to get through the ball in a slightly upward plane. So it would look like this. In the zone, 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 out of the zone. So there's a lot more room for uh, to be off a little bit with your timing if you got that good swing, okay? Most of the best players swing that way. So when your coach tells you to swing down, you know, I don't want you to say, oh, well, this guy on YouTube told me I could swing, swing up. Just say, okay, now, uh, you know, I'll try it a couple times and, and see what happens, but go back to what feels right to you because I know this feels right. This is how I always hit. You know, this is how a lot of guys, the best hitters in the world hit, and they do it because it feels right, okay? They have the same coaches that would tell them to come down to that ball and create backspin, but that's not really what happens. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And join the newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com. But I'm excited to see some of these comments because I know this is a very debated topic. So let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.